in the previous lesson, we learned how to construct a graphic to represent categorical data, and we learned specifically the, the pie chart. In this lesson, we're going to learn another method for representing categorical data graphically, and that's something called a stacked bar graph. Now, there's many different ways that we can represent categorical data graphically, but I think those are the two most prominent ones that are used in magazine articles or newspaper ads or something like that that's trying to summarize categorical data in some way, shape, or form. Now, it's, it's really not that bad to construct, and we're going to use the data from the previous lesson. So we have on the far left all our data, all 20 students, along with each of their hair colors. And then we summarize that in a table that has our frequency for each of those categories and then the relative frequency. And just recall, the relative frequency we got from, for example, for, for people with black hair, we took the frequency of people with black hair, which was 3, and then we divided it by the total, which is 20, which gives us that relative frequency of 0.15. And we did that for each of the respective categories. When we construct a stacked bar graph, it's very similar to what we did with the pie chart. We're going to first start off by drawing a rectangle to represent the graphic that we're going to use. So let me go ahead and do that. And I'm going to pick something simple to work with um, just because it'll be, it'll be easier in the end. But we'd do the same process regardless of what height we pick. And I'm going to pick one 10 units tall. So, And I won't worry about the width right now. I'll just make it that wide. Now, typically, this area represents one full unit because we're using our relative frequencies to divide this up. But since we're scaling it and we're making this whole thing 10 units, we're going to have to scale our relative frequencies so things are proportional. Otherwise, it won't turn out correctly. So this is 10 units tall right here. And we won't worry about the width for right now. But if we said the width was one unit, the whole area would be 10. Um, so we have to scale our relative frequency, and what we do to do that is we're going to take the relative frequency, and I'll abbreviate that with RF, and we're going to multiply it by the height, all right, the height of the rectangle. So when we do that, we have 0.15 times our height, which is 10, and that's going to be 1.5. And then we're going to multiply 0.3 times 10, which is going to give us 3, 0.4 times 10, which is equal to 4. And then the last one will be 0.15, which we probably didn't have to do, times 10, which is equal to 1.5. And those would be the respective heights for each of those uh, different students or different groups of students with those hair colors, all right? So now we go through, and a lot of the graphics, they like to take the biggest relative frequency, and that goes at the bottom. The next biggest goes up from there. The next biggest up there, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to start with uh, people with brown hair, since that's the largest uh, quantity of people. Uh, we have a relative frequency of 0.4, and we scaled that to be 4 because our height was 10. So I'll make this 4 tall. And this area right here would represent people with brown hair. And then the next largest group are people with brown hair, or actually, I'm sorry, not brown, blonde hair, which there were six people with it. There's a relative frequency of 0.3, but for our scale, we're going to make that three units tall. So right here is our bar for people with blonde hair. And now our last one really doesn't matter because red and black both had a relative frequency of 0.15, or our height with this respective uh, graphic that we have here on the stack bar graph is going to be 1.5. So we have black, and then we have red. Now, if I were doing this like the magazine, this would be a lot neater, and we'd actually be using colors right here to represent each of these bars. And then off to the right, we'd have a legend that explained what each of those bars are. Now, the nice thing about a stacked bar graph is it allows us to really see easily which is the biggest group out of these four groups that we have here. And we can see that this is the biggest right here for the people with brown hair. And this also has the large, largest area right here. And if we were to calculate the area based on this, it would be four units tall by however wide we made it, which we'll just assume it's one unit for right now. So this would be an area of four. This would be an area of three, an area of 1.5, and an area of 1.5 for that as well. And these are all proportional in terms of the relative frequency. We essentially scaled that relative frequency based on how high we made our bar graph. 
Now, like I said, it's a real nice graphic to use. It's real easy to see. Sometimes I think this is a little bit easier for people to visualize categorical data than the pie chart because they look at specific areas rather than wedges. But both accomplish the same purpose and hopefully you, you found this video informational and we'll be able to construct a stacked bar graph of your own.